the Yao Zibu. This is not ozone dialysis. This is pure Ibu. Every component is 100% ozone compatible. 100% of ozone administered is absorbed by the blood. Even after completing the procedure, a significant portion of ozone sent through the Ibu flask is also absorbed by remaining blood. Borosilicate flint free glass bottle, silicone tubings, SS diffuser, silicone tubing. The world's best Ibu system designed so far. Ibu. The ozone machine, regulator, and perfusion pump are tested. The pump speed is kept at 8 mm and the rotation can be clockwise or anticlockwise depending on the direction of the system flow. The Ibu flask is opened. It has three marks, small circle, large circle and a plus symbol. Using an artery forceps, the small and large circles are perforated for easy entry of the pipings. This will enable the blood in tube ozone entry and the waste tube to be connected properly. Opening the silicone stopper with an artery forceps makes pushing the spikes easy. The bottle is placed in the hanger, and a 500 milliliter saline bottle is also hung from a stand. Three point five milliliters of heparin, five thousand units per ml, are injected into the bottle. The bottle is shaken L and reattached to the hanger. The remaining 1.5 milliliters of heparins mixed in 5 milliliters distilled water and kept aside for later use. Yos has special Ibu donor sets which is now opened from sterile wrapping and The heparin bulb is attached to the heparinized saline. The entire donor tubing assembly is flushed with the diluted heparin. The sharp spike is now inserted into the large circle in the Ibu bottle.
Into the small circle goes the spike of the waist exit, and into the plus goes the needle with ozone. The bottle is now hung to the UV stand. The silicone tube is now inserted into the perfusion pump and clamped in place. A tourniquet is now applied. The recipient infusion set goes through the large circle on the bottom part. The vein is located and the 18 gram van flan opened. Once the vein is located and the cannula is inside, the donor set is connected. If blood flows into the heparin set, no worries as we have not started the perfusion pump yet. Heparin flow is opened and the pump started. The patient starts squeezing a soft sponge toy as the pump speed is slowly increased. The blood flows into the chamber. Where ozone is bubbling. The blood is driven to the chamber slowly. The speed of perfusion pump is increased. The patient is comfortable. The patient and staff put UV protective goggles. The patient and staff do the protective goggles. The recipient site is located and tourniquet is applied. 
as the recipient vein is located. The recipient blood set is primed and made air free. The cannula is inserted into the recipient's site. The recipient blood set is connected and the flow started. The difference in the blood color is well appreciated without the use of any dialysis filters. Ozonized blood coagulates toxins, bad protein, and the oxidized debris or waste comes out from the top of the EBU flask, which is collected in a separate bottle. The whole system in operation. Donor blood mixed with small quantities heparin is sucked by the special perfusion pimp. Enters the EBU flask from top. Ozone is bubbled via SS tube from bottom. The ozonated blood goes to the recipient side, while the waste is collected in a bottle at floor level. This is continued for a while so that the blood gets purified. The heparin usage is very less as you can see. The flow continues for another few minutes. Once the desired amount of ozone has been administered. The pump is stopped. Heparin closed. Donor site is disconnected. After the donor blood is fully in the bottle, the system is stopped. The EBU set is removed from perfusion pump. The donor tube and the heparinus's saline set is removed. The waste continues to collect and ozone infusion continues till the end. Once all blood from bottle is empties, the recipient set is removed and all remaining blood is allowed to flow into the patient.
If you want further details about this system, please send